Minesweeper is about taking chances and risk, but not randomized risk, but calculated risk. And I'm here to tell you all about it. You probably remember when you were a kid going to your family's computer running in Windows XP. You go to games and click Minesweeper. And you see this window pop up with a bunch of boxes to click. And so you did, as you are born to do, you see a bunch of numbers pop up again. No idea what that means, but you click randomly again and then BOOM! Mind show up. You didn't understand, so you close the window and open up Purple Blaze instead, and now you're here watching some guy talk about Minesweeper. In case you still have no idea how to play Minesweeper, you click, numbers pop up, and those numbers indicate how many mines are in its surrounding tiles. And your goal is to identify where all the mines are located without triggering any of them. Pretty simple. How hard can it be? Okay. Uh, so here. Then that. Here then Huh At this point of the game is what I call Fuck it's when all your options are down to chance for example this pause if you want I give you time to process You can see that my next move will be down to chance because there are no numbers that give away a specific area where there's mine. There are only numbers that give away an area where there could be mines. So what do I do now? Do I just guess my next move? No! What I'll do is show my hand through my thick fucking skull into my brain and find a high school math formula that could help me in this situation. Ah, perfect. This is what we call simple probability. That's it. No complicated chalkboard math formulas, no big letters and numbers, just Z is equals to X over Y. That's it. Let's take this for example. We're trying to determine which among these two unopened tiles contains the mine from this tree right here. Considering we already have two unopened tiles, we have Z equals to X over Y. Which means we have Z is equals to 1 half. Basic math. Both tiles have a 50% chance of being the mine. But, we must also consider the surrounding numbers overlapping the two tiles we're talking about. Which in this case, the tree beside and the tree below. So we're also going to take their probability. Then, consider them for the original tiles we're trying to determine. So that means the left tile has a chance of 1 half and 3 fifth, the right tile has a chance of 1 half and 2 third. And by doing basic comparison, we know that 50% and 60% is much less compared to 50% and 66.67%. So in that calculation, our safest bet is the right tile, which is indeed correct. Well actually, if we're talking about chances, both percentage must equal to- Shut the fuck up. I'm just about to get into that. Actually, no. Fuck you. We don't need to do a whole formula math PS just to find the exact percentage for it to equal to 100%. What matters is that A is safer than B, X is safer than Y, and this is safer than this. That's what. Anyways, obviously, safer number doesn't always mean right. It just means that it's safer. Let's take this for example. According to math, this tile is safer than the other tile since it's covered with 2 and a half and 2 and 1 third. But does that mean that it's still all luck and random? The answer is no. What I did not take into account is how many mines and tiles are left. In this scenario, there are 79 mines left. The chances of a mine existing in these other parts that possibly covers the other numbered tiles are high. Even if you're taking into account the amount of unopened tiles, because 50 over 100 still has more numbers than 5 over 10, right? But how about this? So what you do here is you basically do what I call Does this make sense if it's here or nah? By definition, that means trying to determine where the mine is located based around the surrounding tiles of your targeted tile. For example, if there's a mine here, will the other make sense? Let's see, uh, it covers the 1, covers the 3, the 4, but not Two, I guess. Two needs two mines in this area, and what we put is just one tile that already covers all the numbers. So, what we need is two mines in the area of two that will cover all the numbers in the area. Alright, 
Let's say another thing. We have this for it's basically the same as the last one but the only difference is that there are two possible solutions. A. We could do this and this where it still covers all the twos and the four. Or B. This where it also covers the two and the four. Which means there's a 50% chance what you choose will be the correct sequence of mine. And if you look on the other parts, the only option you got is another 50% chances and a 2 fifth. So let's say I chose A. Ank. Wrong. You lose the game of chance of 50-50. So does that mean Minesweeper at the end of the day is still a chance game? Now you might just feel confused about these things. I mean, with all this math, can't blame you. So maybe you just fuck it. There's a miner around here, then truly there's nothing here. WRONG! Again, as I said, this game is a calculated risk type of game, and not some fortune teller BS. If you are out here watching this video thinking all this shit stupid, okay. But if you're out here watching this video and thinking you can just guess it all, then get the fuck out of my face, soldier. You joined the military to the motherfucking mine, so follow my goddamn orders <clears throat> sorry for that i lost my composure moving on you might feel demotivated you might feel overwhelmed i get that being deployed in this 30 by 16 square battlefield is an impactful weird feeling that you are not used to in a normal everyday life but getting this far it's obvious that you love it and you're just tired. You're tired of shooting the same bullets every day of your life. So one day, maybe you'll just say, fuck it. Go to your local laser tag or join a suburb nerf war. But deep inside you, you know that you belong to the battlefield. You belong to war. To an area filled with the unknown, where every step could be a decision of life and death. One moment you're seeing Matt, next moment, there's Saint Peter. It's a tough job, but you got this far because of your talent. So why stop now? This is all you have. And now, you've been through the basics. Been through the ups and downs, the lefts and rights, the numbers, the fractions, ones, twos, threes, fours, laser tag, nerf war. And you're ready. You hop inside the field and you start calculating. And finally, with 8 minds left on the board, after going through all this suffering, after looking through graphs, formulas for the whole day, with just a low low chance of exploding, you are finally This is it, the final moment, the thing we've been waiting for, the time has come, this is the run. Once, twos, threes, fours, infinites, all of it, flag those minds, calculate and take risks and finally, it comes down to one last thing. A 50-50, with one mind left, three tiles unopened, one is secured to be safe, it all comes down to a 50-50. Will it be the top 
or will it be the bottom? All these times, you have been told that Minesweeper is a calculated risk game where every tile has some sort of formula or solution to it to determine whether it's safe or not. But in this final moment, all the training has vanished and you are faced with something no formula or a solution will solve except for one and it's your sweeper and that's how minesweeper still all comes down to luck here, here, here we go. Oh, the